Hey, hello everybody. My name is Garrett H.T. Stiegel. I am the founder and creator of Yogi GTV. It's an online, well, an online YouTube channel where I will be sharing yoga, Pilates, meditation, sound therapy, and even some of my alkaline vegan recipes. So today we're just going to go through a little movement sequence. If you want to help keep your body nice and supple, keep your muscles moving, no experience needed, no equipment necessary. You can do this from the comforts of your home. So find some comfortable space and some comfortable clothes and let's begin. So we're gonna start in our chair, sitting up nice and tall. Take a few breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhaling by the nose. Deep inhale. And exhale. Just connecting with the breath. You're listening to your inhales. And exhale. Two more breaths, just like that. Inhale. And exhale. Relaxing the mind, relaxing the body. Inhale, bring the arms up over the head. Stretch up, reach up, palms together. Start to rub the palms together. Actively press the palms together. You're gonna create some heat, so you'll start to feel some warmth in your body. Slowly bring the hands down to the heart center. Exhale. Just feel your breath, your life force on your palms. Second one. Warm it up. This is good for all ages. No experience needed, no equipment needed. Come as you are. Exhale. Just feel the breath. Last one. Really press the palms together. Really create some heat in your body. Inhaling to the nose. Exhale on the palms. Inhale, palms together. Inhale, reach up. Open the palms and start to slowly rotate the wrists. Nice and slow. Be very articulate with your wrist. This is good if you sit at your desk all day. If you're not physically active, you can do these exercises to help keep your body in good condition. And reverse. Reverse the wrist. I'm gonna take it up nice and slow. Keep going. Remember to breathe. I'm starting to sweat already, actually, a little bit. <laughs> and inhale, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, take the right arm down and take the left arm up and over. You want the focus to be at the palm. You're stretching the side of the body. Take some breaths here. In through the nose, out through the nose. and one inhale arm up really stretch up reach up exhale other side nice and slow nice and easy focus is in the palm hold here for three breaths two and one Inhale, arms back up. Stretch up, reach up, look up. Exhale, drop it down. Two more times, inhale, reach up. Deep inhale, lift out of your chair, lift the waist. Exhale, let it go. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Palms pressed down. We're gonna take the chin into the chest and take some head rolls. So bring the chin down and take the head over to the right. One and two and three. Again, keep it going. Just feel the neck opening, feel the throat opening. And one more. And reverse it, chin to the chest, other side. 
remember to stay connected with your breathing. That's one of the most important things, the breath. Synchronizing your breath with the movement. One more. And back to the center. I'm gonna inhale, pull the shoulders all the way up, and exhale. Take it back. Four. Three, two, and reverse from the back to the front. One, three, three, and four. From here, inhale, hold the breath, shoulders up, exhale, let it go. Again, inhale, pull the shoulders all the way up to the ears, exhale, let it go, inhale, really lift the shoulders up, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, let it go, bring the palms together. And we're going to shake it out. We're going to take 30 seconds just to shake it out. Shake out the stagnant energy in your body. Yes. Wiggle the arms. But you just want to shake everything out. Get the energy moving. Get the energy flowing in the body. Flail the arms. Flail the wrists. Flick it off. 10 more seconds. Keep it going. 10. 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Next, we're going to take a breathing exercise. This next sequence will increase your heart rate. It will um, make you sweat a little bit, okay? So just be mindful of the breath, always staying connected with your inhales to the nose and exhalations by the nose. Mouth stays closed. So we're going to inhale, stretch up, reach up. You're going to exhale, pull the arms back, body forward. Inhale, stretch up, reach up. Exhale, out the mouth, H-A high. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Full breath. Exhale. Here we go. Here we go. Five. Three. Last one. Inhale, hold. Holding the inhale, slowly exhale, release. And release. Just observe the breath. What's happening with your breath? On the inhale, bring the arms out to the side like airplane wings. So you want to stretch your palms away from each other. Create some length and opposition in your body. Right hand reaching away, left hand reaching away. I'm going to bring the hands to the shoulders. I'm going to inhale to the right. Exhale to the left. Inhale right. Exhale left. Nice and slow. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. to the center. Now we're going to reverse it. So we're going to inhale to the left. Keep the elbows reaching away from each other and exhale to the right. Inhale. Sit up nice and tall. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. One, 
one. Back to the center. Inhale, reach up. Stretch up. Slowly release. Next, we're gonna plant the feet. You're gonna open the feet, shoulder the hip width apart. You're gonna inhale, reach the palms up. You're gonna take the left arm and place it on the outside of your leg. You wanna give yourself a gentle press so that you can twist. Opposite arm is just relax, looking over your right shoulder, sitting up tall, and twisting your spine. Holding here for three breaths. Inhale. With, with each exhale, try to go a little deeper. Give yourself a deeper twist. Two. Last one. And back to the center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Remember to stretch up. Reach as far as you can. And exhale. Place the wrist on the outside of the knee and gentle twist, looking over your back shoulder. With each inhale and exhale, twist a little deeper. Try to look all the way behind you. Hold here for two more breaths. Here we're going to squeeze the legs together. I'm actually starting to break a little sweat here. So you're going to actively squeeze your legs together, okay? Keep them together. You can even come to the edge of your chair for this if you like, okay? But just make sure you keep the legs together. We're going to inhale. We're going to exhale. Second round. A little faster. Get the blood moving. Get the breath flowing. Inhale up. Exhale. Squeezing the legs. Five. Last one. Inhale, hold. Exhale, release. Bring the hands to the heart center. Next, we're going to open the legs. Remember to sit up nice and tall. We're gonna take a few contractions. So we're gonna inhale, bring the chest forward. You wanna look up to a 45 degree angle. Don't take the head all the way back. Just keep the throat open 45 degree to the ceiling. This is your inhale. On the exhale, you're gonna round the spine, drop the chin down to the chest. Here we go, inhale, lift. In through the nose. Exhaling by the nose. Inhale. Chin up, chest up. Open your heart chakra, your throat chakra. Exhale. Close it off. So if you sit at your desk a lot, if you work at a desk, this is great for your spine. Keep your spine active. Keep it supple. Keep it moving. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Drop the chin, drop the chest, round the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Puff the chest up, puff the chest up. Exhale, release. And back to center. Neutral pelvis, neutral spine. Sit up nice and tall. And just observe the breath. Just notice, what do you feel? What can you smell? 
what do you hear? And I want to inhale. We're going to clasp the hands behind the back as best as you can. You're going to press your knuckles into your chair and pull your shoulders back. Pull your shoulders back. Inhale, chin up, chest up. And you're going to exhale, bring the body forward. Inhale, chest up, exhale. Opening up the shoulders, inhale, exhale, squeeze the palms together behind you, inhale, chin up, chest up, exhale, inhale, last one, and exhale, drop it down, inhale the body back up. Now we're gonna grab your elbows. So grab your opposite elbows, interlock the elbows behind you. And you wanna shake, twist right, left, right, left. Yes, this is good for shoulder mobility. Just keep rocking. Try to grab your opposite elbows behind you. Keep it going. Remember, we're moving the stagnant energy in the body. We're connecting with the breath. Keep it going for 10, 9, 8, 7, shake it out, 4, 3, 2, and 1, back to the center, shake it out just a little bit. You can even roll the shoulders back a few times and observe how the body's starting to loosen up. Things just start to feel a little more easeful in reverse. Yes, so as we start to connect with the body, the body starts to warm, warm up and things get a little easier, but you gotta keep moving, you gotta keep breathing. So from here, come to the edge of your seats. Now we're gonna work on the core. So sit up nice and tall. You wanna inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, kick it out. Inhale, pull it back in. Exhale, back down, other side. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, kick it out. Inhale, pull it back in. And back down. So we're working core and the hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, kick. Pull the toes back towards your face and thrust the heel forward. Inhale, pull it back. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, other side. Each movement has its own breath. Inhale, knee in, and exhale back down. We're gonna do three more on each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, back down. Inhale, lift, kick, pull it back in, and down. Two more on each side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and down, other side, inhale, stay nice and tall, exhale, inhale, and down, inhale. Now we're going to kick the leg out and hold it there, flex the toe back towards your face and just hold here for five. Keep the leg as straight as possible, actively engage your quad muscle, these are the muscles on the front side of the body. Four, three, two, and release. You should, you should be shaking a little bit. If you're not shaking, I don't know what to tell you. You might be a little stronger than me. Here we go, other side. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, kick it out. And try to just hold it there. Wherever you are, stay connected with the breath. Hold here for five. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Next, we're going to rock side to side. Side to side with the rib cage. Inhale right, exhale left. Just groove it out. Observe the spine. Really press the side of the ribs out to the side. Yes. 
getting some mobility in the thoracic spine, your lumbar, your sacrum. These are muscles of your spine that go down the back. And we're gonna create some circles with the rib cage. Inhale forward and back. Forward and back. Here we go, five. Inhale, big circle with the rib cage. Four. Three, two, full circle, and reverse. Opposite way, inhale forward, exhale, pull it back. Five, four, three, two, Keep moving the spine, and one. Back to the center. We're gonna do some more breathing. We're gonna inhale, reach the arms up, and stretch up. I really like this breathing exercise because it really gets your cardiovascular breathing going. Stretch up, exhale, pull it in. H-A, ha, breathing, inhale. Exhale, pull it in. Five. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. One. Keep the body forward and let the arms relax on the side of the body. We're just gonna hang forward here. Drop the head, you can shake it yes, no, a few times, really release the back of the neck here. No tension, you hold a lot of tension in the neck and in the shoulders throughout the entire body. So just shake it out, making sure the upper spine is relaxed. Hold here for five breaths. With each breath, try to relax a little more. Last breath, inhale. And slowly roll the spine up. Next, we're gonna take a rolling sequence with the body, okay? So we're gonna take the chin down and bring it back up. And roll it in. And take it back up. Just moving the spine. And keep it moving. And reverse. The reverse, we take it down, flat back, drop the head, pull it back, and up. Rippling the spine like waves in the ocean. Remember to release the back of the neck each time. Chin up, chest up, exhale. Three more. Two. Last one, exhale. Relax the chin to the chest, relax the shoulders and the upper neck. Breathe here for three deep breaths. Make sure your inhales and your exhales are even. the palms on the inside of the feet. You can even dome 
the uh, fingertips by lifting the uh, palms off of the floor. If you can, press your palm all the way down into the floor. And from here, we're gonna twist our spine, actively pressing and actively reaching up towards the ceiling. You wanna think of spiraling your entire rib cage towards the ceiling. This is a twisting posture. And breathe. Two. And one. Bring the palm back down and second side. Bring the palm into the center of your, of your feet. And inhale. Twist and lift. Hold here for three breaths. Think of spiraling. Really twist your spine. Hold here for three breaths. Try to find one point of focus with your eyes. So don't let the eyes wander. You can look at the palm, you can look at your fingernails, but wherever you're looking, find one place of focus. Two. And release, back down. Now we're gonna alternate it. Inhale, open. Exhale, back down. Other side, open. Back down. Three more each side, open. Really twist your spine and down. Each time, try to go a little further. Open the chest, exhale, release. Two more. Open, exhale it down. And down. Last one. And release. Shake the head out. We can even shake the shoulders out. And just hold here for three more breaths. Just let the body relax as best as you can. <sighs> Slowly roll the spine up, peel the spine up, vertebrae by vertebrae, lower spine, middle spine, upper spine, and arrive. Inhale, take the arms out to the side. Come to your edge, of, come to the edge of your seat for this next sequence. All we're gonna do is inhale, knee to elbow, and exhale. So here you're working your side obliques, you're working your core, and you're gaining some flexibility and strength in your hips. Here we go. Inhale, touch. Exhale, touch. Keep it going, here we go. Nice and slow, nice and easeful. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one, and one. Now we're gonna hold. Touch your knee to your elbow and just hold it there. Hold it here for five. You're contracting the hip. Four, three, two, and switch. You're actively contracting the core muscles right here. Hold for five, four, three, two, and release. Shake it out. Next, we're gonna extend both legs in front of you. Actively squeeze together, heels together, toes together, inner thighs. It's like you're zipping up your legs. Yes, so keep everything nice and tight and contracted. We're gonna inhale, reach up. 
You're gonna exhale, touch the toes, and bring the hands on the outside, You're just connecting with the side of the body. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, reach forward and pull it back. Here we go. This reminds me of a choo-choo train for some reason. <laughs> yes, yeah, so just keep it flowing. Nice and easeful. Stay connected with the breath. Keep breathing. Pulling the energy up and sending it out. And reverse, bring the arms down. Now you're pushing the energy out and back up. Here we go. Exhale. Inhale. You can breathe through your nose, in through the nose and out through the mouth, or you can breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Yes, your choice, as long as you stay connected with your breathing. Here we go. Exhale, press it out. Out with the old, in with the new. Press it out. Pressing away what no longer serves. Here we go, a few more. Keep those legs together. Last one. Inhale, stretch up, reach up. From here, you wanna take your hand and place it on the side of your head. You wanna give a gentle pull. At the same time, you wanna take your opposite arm out to the side and you wanna flex the palm, flex the fingertips back towards your face. You wanna feel a deep stretch from the neck. You might even feel some through the pericardium. It goes through the heart. It's a tendon that connects through your heart from your hands, yeah? So flex the palm and give a gentle pull, gentle. And hold here for three breaths. Really press the palm away. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, both arms back up. Exhale, second side. Gentle grab of the head and take the arm out to the side. Remember to pull the fingertips back towards your face. That's where you get the stretch, is when you pull the fingertips back towards the face and thrust the palm out, like you're trying to touch the wall beside you. Hold here for three. Two. Inhale, stretch up, and this time we're going to take both arms out to the side and just flex the palms. Press and breathe. Keep going. Keep those arms nice and strong, fingertips back towards the face, and breathe for three. Two, and release. Shake it out. You got 10 seconds here to shake it out. Nine, eight. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Whatever you're feeling, just let it go. Five, four, three, two, and release. Once again, just observe your breath. What's happening with your breathing? No judgment, just observation. You're just observing. And that's what meditation is. Meditation is basically observing your breath. And when you become 
more in tune and focus with your breath, you become more aware of the space within you and the environment around you. We're going to finish this practice with some sound meditation. Um, I have my didgeridoo here and my sound. No, that's not my sound. This is my didgeridoo and my rain stick. This didgeridoo is an Australian wind instrument. I love this instrument because you play it by using your imagination. The Aborigines people, they imitated the sounds of animals, and this is how you um, create different cool sounds and different um, vibrations, just by imitating different animals, imitating elephants, imitating the kangaroo, imitating the birds. And this rain stick, it's just, um, it has some pebbles in there that are just going through and creating a rain, a rain sound. Um, it's very relaxing. So wherever you are, you can close your eyes, keep them open. But through this sound experience, I want you to just focus on your breathing. So you can sit back in your chair, close your eyes, and just breathe. So now we should feel nice and calm, nice and relaxed and focused. We're going to join the palms together. Next we're going to hum. This breath is called Brahman. We're going to buzz like bumblebees. So we're going to take a deep inhale. Buzzing like bumblebees.
stretch up, reach up, just like we did at the beginning of our practice. We're gonna conclude the same way we started with the deep reach. And slowly start to bring the hands down into the heart center. Exhale. Just feeling the life force. Life force is what connects all beings. It's what gives us life. Last one. Exhale. The divine in me salutes and honors the light and vibration in you. Thank you all for joining me for practice. Remember, you can practice this anywhere, anytime, from the comfort of your home. If you work at a desk, this is great for your spine. Always keep the breath moving, keep the body moving. The moment we stop moving the body, areas start to become stiff and achy and they start to inflame. So it's best to just keep it moving, keep breathing little by little, day by day. So thank you for joining me here at Yogi GTV. Don't forget to like, comment, and share and subscribe. Share this video with three people that you know who could benefit from this, yes? So thank you all for practice and I'll see you guys next time. Namaste.